So, are you ready to become a podcaster on podcasts? Download the Anchor app. It's the easiest way to do podcasting and it's also free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's easy. It's everything you need to make a podcast all in one place. Hey, 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 my wonderful and beautiful kings and queens. How are y'all doing? How are y'all doing? Listen, I know it's been a minute on the podcast. Let me tell y'all something. I've been going so much in on my YouTube channel. I'm like, Lord, I got to get on here and do a podcast. You understand what I'm saying? So thank y'all so much for all y'all support and everything. I know I haven't been on here in a while, but I said, let me get on over here and jump on and do a podcast. All right, so if this is your first time joining my podcast, my name is Candice e. Brown. I'm a certified life coach and a motivational speaker. I'm also an author as well as a YouTuber. I am also owner and CEO of Sister and Sister Coaching. And what I do, I do mindset coaching for women, helping them take their mindsets from rags to riches. I also help women with their self-love and their self-confidence, okay? So, for all of you that have been rocking with me for a while, y'all know what I'm about to say. And let me tell you, I thank y'all so much. I appreciate you for all your comments, your likes, tuning in uh, to the podcast, the YouTube, whatever. I appreciate y'all so much. But all my ladies know what I'm about to say. You have the power to fix your crown, okay? You have the power to fix your crown, okay? Your crown could be cracked. Busted the pieces, twisted to the side, falling off, sis, it does not matter. You have the power to fix your crown. And there are some of you, I don't know what y'all waiting on, but there are some of you that haven't even picked up your crown. Sis, I need for you to bend down, pick up that crown, and walk like the bold, beautiful queen that you are. Alright, so on tonight's podcast, I want to just talk to y'all a little bit tonight about how god dropped some of my spirit and it it was like it just gave me peace you know sometimes you don't quite understand what's going on or you don't quite understand why things had to happen the way they happened and you're like man you know how could this be or how could this go on how could that go on but something that he dropped in my spirit he told me said you don't have to understand everything at one time But you will understand everything in due time. Let me say that again. You don't have to understand everything that's going on all at once. But you will understand in due time. Okay? So I'm going to talk about that a little bit. What is saying understanding everything at one time. Sometimes in life we want to know every single detail. We want to know why this happened to me. Okay? I'm going to use me for example, okay? A long time ago, before I became this person that I am, before I became the woman who I was, I want to know why my mother lived for me when I was about 21, 22 years old, okay? Why she left me with this child. I, I just had my son. I didn't know nothing about being a mother, okay? I want to know why... Um, I couldn't find the love that I was searching for. You know, I want to know why every time I turned around and thought I gave my all and and gave the best parts of me that I was broken, okay? And then I also want to know, I'm like, man, why why this happened? Why that happened? I had so many questions, and I did not understand. I didn't understand my life, y'all. I didn't know who I was. I was lost. I was out here in the world twirling like a tumbleweed, okay? I let the world put an identity on me. I let the world tell me who I was, what I was supposed to do, what I was supposed to wear, what I was supposed to go, where I was where I was supposed to be. You know, even when I was married, 
I even let the world influence me on my marriage, okay? I was listening to what everybody else said. I didn't really have a role model to go by, even, you know, being a wife. I didn't know how to be a wife, you know? Like I tell people now, you know, I got married for the wrong reasons. I didn't get married for the right reasons. And in result of that, yes, I ended up in divorce and everything. But all in all, you know, it taught me some lessons. And I'm still learning some lessons now, y'all. You don't never stop learning lessons in life. And even, you know, even now, I'm still learning the lessons um, in my life. But I didn't understand why things happened the way they happened. But see, now I know in due time. And see, now this is due time. Meaning now I understand why I had to go through what I go through. Had I not went through the things that I went through, I would not be the woman that I am today. Y'all would not be listening to this podcast. Y'all would not get from YouTube videos. Y'all would not see me doing the speaking engagements. You would not see none of that. Had I not went through what I went through, and I wouldn't trade nothing in the world for it, okay? Because I'm going to tell you something. It's, it's one thing to not, it's, it's a thing not to know who you are. It is, because I've been there not knowing who I was, confused, you know, just out here. But when I finally woke up to who I was, and becoming the woman God has created me to be it has been the most awesome the most I just I don't even have the words to describe it you know becoming this person that I am today I'm telling you sometimes I don't even have the words to say okay when you wake up to who you are and know your identity know why you were created know get into your purpose I'm telling you life is so fulfilling Life is so fulfilling. See, for a long time, life was not fulfilling for me. Life was just empty, you know? You ever just went searching for stuff? Just went round and round and round in a circle? I mean, you just going from person to person, place to place, thing to thing. And you can't never find, can't never find that fulfillment that you've been looking for. I always felt empty. But when... I got a relationship with God. And when I woke up to who I was, when I learned my identity, why, you know, what was my purpose? Why was I I created? What I was created for and created to do? Let me tell y'all something. Life has been so fulfilling ever since then. I wake up every day knowing what I got to do, knowing my purpose, and knowing I have to get out here and get it done. And life is so fulfilling, y'all. It's a wonderful feeling to wake up every day and know your purpose and know that you're in your purpose, okay? Knowing why you were created, knowing that you matter, knowing that you are important, knowing that you are somebody, okay? You more than this and you more than that. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you ain't important. Don't let nobody tell you, oh, you just you just a fun person. You just somebody to, to hang out with. No, you more than that. You are more than that. Don't let nobody sit here and tell you, well, I just call you on the weekend because you know you're a weekend man or you're a weekend girl. You more than a weekend girl. You more than a weekend man. Uh, I just call you after 9 or 10 o'clock at night. You know you I call you during the wee hours. No, you more than that. Don't let nobody treat you like you just some doormat or you some rag doll or you some throw away um, trash or something. Don't do that. Don't let nobody treat you like that. I don't care who they is, okay? I don't care who they is because you are a child of God. You are important and God loves you. Let me tell you something. A lot of people don't believe it, but he does. When you get a relationship with him and you begin to spend time with him and begin to walk into your purpose and your true divine self, baby, you're going to find out just how much God loves you and how much he done saved you. And for as time as, far as, time as this, okay? You, we, we need you out here. I don't care what nobody say. Everybody is important. 
everybody is important. And yeah, I know you don't understand the stuff that you're going through right now. I know it's hard to see the end of the road. I know it's hard to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But do not give up. Don't give up because somebody out here needs you. You have a story to tell. You are purpose. God made you for a reason. Don't let nobody tell you any different. Okay? Somebody out here needs to hear your story. Somebody has been praying for you. You are somebody's hope. You somebody's hope. Okay? You are somebody's hope. I can sit here and encourage people, but I have to talk about my story and the stuff that I've been through. See, I haven't been through some of the things that people have been through. And that what and that is what makes you powerful. Because you overcame some stuff that people should have died in. Okay? The stuff that you overcame in life, people sh- would have died from it. Let me tell you something. Women, ladies, people that have lost children, y'all are strong, anointed women. Let me tell you something. Because I thank God. I praise the Lord that I have not lost a child. I don't think I could bear that. Now, I don't lost the mama. And some people say, I don't even know how you would make it without your mama. But I sit here today on this podcast and let and to tell you that with God, all things are possible. Okay? I could not have done this by myself because the road that I was taking, I was finna die. If I had kept taking that road and going the wrong way, I would not be here. I would not be here. I am so glad. <laughs> Let me tell y'all how, what just popped up in my spirit. I, baby, I'm so glad that God knocked me off the horse like he knocked Paul off the horse. It was, he was Saul, but he became Paul. Okay? He was on, I believe he was on his way to, uh, on the road to Damascus. And honey, God knocked him right on off that horse and blinded him for three days. Let me tell you something. I had a Paul experience. Because God knocked me right on off my horse. Blue. And, and say, listen, you better get it right. Because if you don't get it right, <laughs> okay, you ain't you ain't going to be here long. And God will have those kind of conversations with you, y'all. And please believe it's true. It is very true. God is showing me in this season. If I hadn't got into my purpose... If I hadn't hearkened unto the voice of the Lord, I would have been dead. I would have been dead. And he's showing it to me every single day. And I thank God for change. Let me tell you something. Repent. Repent. Please repent. Turn from your wicked ways. Repent. Because tomorrow is promised to no man. Get it right while you still have the blood running warm in your veins. Get it right while you're still alive. Because tomorrow, you may not see tomorrow. Okay? You may not you may not get up tomorrow. You We be thinking when we go to bed, we're going to get up tomorrow. Some people don't even get up. When they go to bed, that be it for them. That's it for them. We don't never know what's going to happen. So every day that you get the opportunity, every day that you get up, thank God for another day. Thank God for another opportunity. Thank God for another 24 hours. Sometimes we don't even make it out to 24 hours, y'all. So every day that you wake up, show gratitude. Thank God for another day. And get into your purpose. You don't have to understand everything at one time. But in But in due time, in due time, you will understand, I promise you. In due time, you're going to know why things didn't work out with you and that person. You're going to know why them people had to leave your life, whether they walked out or through death. You're going to... You gon' in due time, you gon' learn why you had to go through all the hell and, and the high water in your life. In due time, you gon' understand why things happen the way they happen. You gon' understand why people mistreated you, why they talked about you, why they why they called you everything but a child of God. In due time, you gon' understand. If you hearken unto the voice of the Lord and you search him out every single day, you put him first. And you follow him and you eat his word every day. I promise you in due time, he going to give you the answers. And when he give it to you, you're going to say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Because sometimes 
it ain't meant for us to understand all at one time. We can't even handle it sometimes. We be thinking, oh, I can handle it. Some of that stuff, you ain't able to handle it. But as you go on your walk and your journey, defining out who you are and getting to know the real you and getting your identity, your real identity, your true identity. Once you get there, God will give you things. And you will begin to understand why it happened the way that it happened. And it'll be in due time. And when I say due time, I mean God's time. Because God's timing is perfect. It's perfect. Our timing can be so far off. We think that, oh, this is the time I, I need right here. And it don't be that timing. And well, why it didn't happen for me that way? I think it was perfect timing. No, it wasn't perfect because God sees something you could not see. And you got to trust in him. The Bible says, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lead not to your own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You got to trust in God. Even when you don't understand everything, trust him. I promise you, he got you. Trust him. Because that's what I'm having to do. I ain't under, I'm not understanding all of this stuff, but guess what? I trust him and in due time, he going to let me know. I'm going to be able to understand in due time. I'm going to be able to understand. But I just want to come on here real quick and share that encouragement with somebody on tonight. I just want to share that. You may not understand everything right now, but in due time, you will understand. In due time, you will understand. All right. For all my single mothers out there, listen, listen, y'all. Please, please go to www.mindsetchange21.com. Purchase your tickets today for the Cease God Got You seminar with my wonderful sister, Talisa Smith, okay? It's going down this Saturday night, y'all, at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. Listen, it's going to be awesome. This is going to be something great the start of something great i love 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 working with my sister ty lisa i love her she is ceo and owner of organized for success y'all be sure to check out ty lisa smith but i'm telling you all my single mothers listen y'all get on now get on that website today and purchase your tickets i promise you it's gonna bless you it's gonna change your life you understand what i'm saying because god is gonna move in there tremendously okay for all um, also for my ladies for my queens if you're looking to change your mindset to work on your mindset my uh course is on sale i mean my course is online and on the website at mindsetchange21.com and it's called 10 steps to restoring your crown and it's all about mindset y'all be sure to go check that out all right y'all have a blessed and safe wonderful evening this has been candy c Bryan, your certified life coach and motivational speaker i'll check it with you guys next time